Meanwhile, it's been nearly two years since a Tatiana Jefferson was shot and killed by a Fort Worth police officer inside her own home. That officer was indicted on a murder charge. A trial date, though, hasn't been set as of yet. Our Caroline Vandergriff talking to Jefferson's sisters today about, the, uh, about how they plan to mark the anniversary while they continue to wait for their justice. It's all new at 5 o'clock. We cry. We still cry. Ashley and Amber Carr say it's hard to believe October 12th will mark the second anniversary of their sister's death. They feel like they're still stuck in 2019. How can we heal if there's no outcome? How can we start that process? A Tatiana Jefferson was killed by a Fort Worth police officer who went to her home after a concerned neighbor called about her front door being ajar. Jefferson was babysitting her nephew at the time and heard noises in the backyard. Police say the 28-year-old then got her gun out of her purse for protection. Body camera footage shows within seconds of seeing Jefferson through a window, Officer Aaron Dean shot her. He resigned from his job and was arrested for murder, but the judge still hasn't put his trial on the books. We are in limbo like we really are, you know, like on a desert island, just stuck, you know, with no guidance, no help, no direction. To raise awareness about their sister's case, they're planning a weekend of events on October 9th and 10th, a parade in her memory. We want to celebrate her beautifulness, her smartness. And a call to action to demand a trial date. She deserves the accountability we ask for. We ask for a swift and swift justice. This is not swift at all. While they wait, they're channeling their frustration into the Atatiana Project. The foundation works to give low-income children in this area more opportunities to learn science, technology, engineering, and math. It feels really great, you know, um, to see a lot of little Tatianas walking around. Their sister had dreams of becoming a doctor so she could help others. In Fort Worth, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.